Karen. Yeah. You gotta see this. No, I saw it first. Yeah. Don't take the blame. I mean, don't take the blame. Don't take the credit. I thought I saw that you first. You didn't see it first. Are you sure? Yes. All right. She saw it first. I did. See, you're trying to make me look bad. I I'm saw it first. Was bad. I Right, so finally, we can finally talk about this flipping bathroom. Right, we're just going to go into like the main points of it. Yeah, the main points, like why we did it, what it looks like now. I think that's kind of it. Why we did it and what it looks like. Yeah. And oh, we're just and some then, advice. And then, yeah, I was going to say advice and things that we ran into along the way. Yeah, like, God. Um, tips and advice, I guess, is the way to put it. Definitely, yeah. for sure. So, God. Yeah, it's been crazy. It but has. Remember the guy, remember the, guy, the guy who fell through the floor? A guy fell through the floor ah. into, the, into the living room. Legs dangling. I love it. You can't make this up. No, you can't. And I just kind of looked up and went. <laughs> so, the bathroom upstairs. We live in a one family house now. It used to be two family. We only lived downstairs on this floor and we rented upstairs to tenants. Then about two, three years ago, we decided, three years ago really, we decided to take over the whole house, which meant that we had access to just do some renovations upstairs. So the bathroom upstairs, which is next to our bedroom, that was like the biggest thing in the entire house, both floors that needed doing. It was yeah. just ridiculous. I'll show you here. Both of them were very deep. Uh, yeah, I'll show you here some footage so you can see just the before pictures of what it looked like and what we were dealing with. It was just very small. There was one window, but it didn't give much light because it faced the wall of the neighbor's house. The ceilings are very low and not much counter space. You know, a tub that we never use that we would step into every day to shower. Point is, is we took over a second floor and we now needed to utilize the space the yeah. way we felt it was going to suit us best. It was multiple rooms. Yeah, and, it was. And, an, and a bathroom upstairs. So exactly. it's like... What do you do with this? Yes, one of them, one of the rooms was a kitchen, and that was my room actually that I kind of like turned into my semi office, yeah. if you will. When he says it was a kitchen, it was a kitchen that belonged to the former tenants that lived upstairs. Because mm -hmm. our kitchen is down here, so what we decided is since we've taken over the whole house, that kitchen is no longer needed because we use this one. So what we did was we decided. So Michael was using it almost like a semi office. It was just his chill out kind of room with a couch in it, but it was it was underutilized and we both knew right. it was. The idea was to do the bathroom. And yeah. then it was like, okay, you know what? Without going crazy, what could we do to make my space more functional? Correct, since we're okay. And we're like, well, let's just gut the kitchen since we don't need it because Correct. there's not gonna be anybody else. Correct. So, so what I did is I condemned the lines and the wall. So in other words, I didn't I cut all the lines, whether it be for gas or water or what have you, and they're still in the wall. So we have an access panel set up where we can go ahead and access it in the future and then we can turn around and reinstall the kitchen if we need to without a big headache. So that's um, a good tip. Yeah, so a good tip in the way you kind of close up the wall and keep all of your, your supply lines and everything that you need for the kitchen still there and readily accessible. Don't just rip them out completely. Yeah. But anyway, so the idea was to rip out the, the kitchen, if you will, cabinets and the appliances and things like that. And that would make room for me to put closet space in. Yeah. And then, or even not a closet space, but like half closet and then kind of open the space up a little bit more. Yes, to all of that. But next to that room is our bedroom. Mm -hmm. Now it was separated by a wall. So you'd walk around that wall through the doorway and you'd see another door, which is the entrance to our bedroom. And you'd open it and then the bed was there. The room was small enough to only hold a bed, nothing else. So it was- Well, it was a big bed. It was it's a, big, a king it's, size it's, bed. It was a king size bed, <laughs> but you couldn't like use it for putting anything else in like some right. bedrooms you may have. So we decided, or Michael came up with the idea of, he said, I've got this idea. I was like, uh-oh, because when he has these ideas, I'm like, oh, uh-oh, because, you know, they're really dramatic. He said, why don't we just break down that, that in-between wall between that room that wasn't really being used, that had an old kitchen in it that was no longer there, and the bedroom. Let's just break that wall down so that it becomes one big open, so it becomes a giant bedroom. Right? That was really the concept. And that's what it did. And that's what we did. So it became one big room. We were living through this all last year. Actually, a year ago. Oh it was just God. ridiculous. So I was filming content. You're reminding just me. Ignoring yeah. that, oh. that part. I didn't really... Actually, I did show it on my Instagram stories. So I was sharing it. You lot loved it. 
which is great because I like to show you the progress of what we was going through. But then the bathroom still needs to be done. Two of the biggest things was we took the wall down. So the wall of the bathroom was gone because originally you could access the bathroom obviously through the bathroom door and there was a wall there for where the door is attached to. We took that entire wall down. Initially what we were going to do is we were going to build another wall but just move the wall back to increase the size of the bathroom space. Correct. But then Michael had this, to me, <laughs> genius idea. Some of you may think it's really controversial and a lot of you may think that I would never Crazy. do that to a bathroom. I'm sorry. It's just not happening. Michael said, why don't we make that wall glass? Yeah. I know. A glass wall bathroom. And we decided to do it in a casement style as well. So casement style I'll, is probably not your style. Actually, you can see there, this door right here that Michael yes. is sitting next to, this is like casement style. It's got like the black and the panes. We wanted to do that style with a sliding door because it either could be like an open, like a you know double gate open. I'm thinking of gatefold. I'm thinking about my print packaging. Oh, oh wait, is that the um, door? Or, I think it's or, or the sliding. Yeah. So that was the biggest, to me, change was just to make it a glass wall because we figured why not it's our master bathroom first off it's right next to our bed no one is really going to be up there except us and we have a guest bathroom down here which is where most people go to oh, okay. everyone. Yeah, exactly. who else goes up in exactly. the bathroom unless upstairs. somebody just happens to be upstairs and they can uh -huh. choose the bathroom also the thing is with that is that you're not completely tied forever to it being that way because there are ways that you can add privacy if you want down the road one is you can switch to a frosted glass. You can actually have the glass tinted. You can add blinds so you can bring that down. So there's ways you can make that if you want. Mm -hmm. We love it the way it is. We just gutted it. We could just the full gut. The shower came down, the bathtub, took the toilet out, everything. It just became a box, empty. Also, another thing was the ceiling. We raised the height because it would have been reduced. Am I right? The yeah. ceiling was reduced. Well, the ceiling had a drop ceiling. That's it, a drop ceiling. That, you see, you know, he's here because he knows the terms. <laughs> he, had the drop, he had the drop ceiling before. And so, you dropped an incredible idea. So. Because uh, you talk about when Michael says. Oh, I've got an idea. I got right. an idea. Well, you, well, well, Karen says she has an idea. <laughs> well, you had a good idea because the drop ceiling is thought, oh, we're getting, let's get rid of the drop ceiling because once, you've got, once we've got rid of that, you could see that the true ceiling yeah. was much taller. By about three foot? No, less than that. Uh, about two and a half. There yeah, you go, so right? It was, it was a pretty good distance. So, you could, so that was the ceiling before, and it was going to be much higher. So we decided, let's get rid of that drop ceiling and just raise the roof, literally, and make the ceiling height higher. And so that literally makes the room feel bigger. All the walls done, ceiling is done, all, all of the, the sheetrock is done inside. We condemned and the window. So this is the big point before, yes. that's why I did this. We added a skylight, that's the point. So the reason I decided to come up with a skylight is because that window that I told you about earlier, it was, like I said, it faced the wall of a house, the neighbor's house, and there was never giving us any real light. And so we just covered over it completely because we already had a rough layout idea of how we wanted everything to be. That window was literally in the way. So we just, it was like, it, we just covered it. To this day, I'm just sorry, I just gonna pat myself on the back. I love the idea. I said, yeah. you know what? This room has no windows now. It's going to be dark in it, especially when but, you look at the tile. But because of the glass wall, and we did have this conversation. Yeah. I said, you know, the glass wall was there. There is going to be plenty of natural light in there. But at the same time, there obviously have yeah. lighting in it as well. Yeah. But the point was, is that it wasn't going to be bad, right? But it wasn't going to be, oh my God. Yeah. The oh my God was this one. So, yeah. So I decided, let's put a skylight in the roof so that's what we did we had a skylight put in so now the bathroom has a skylight that and it lets in 10 times more light because it's uninterrupted light that comes from the sky at night it looks like by the way i know we haven't yeah, shown the bathroom cool. yet so we're going to cut to show should we just cut to showing them now our bedroom is a major change um as there is oh, it's a bit up the nose isn't it our bedroom is a major change as well um that was affected by what we did to the bathroom um speaking of i'm going to put you down here because we've changed the bedroom and it's a lot bigger than it used to be one of the first things i wanted to do was to get some bloody new sheets. You lot know I've been using Brooklyn in before. We partner with them because we love their sheets. Color. Yeah, I know, right? Nice it's, choice. Yeah, it makes a oh, difference great. from like white. 
it's so. like a nice kind of linen-y kind of color, right? Mm -hmm. The reason why we keep getting Brooklyn and shoots is just because they're comfortable and just the quality of it and they last as well. So it's a really worthwhile investment and that's why we've had them for a few years now. So it's adulting <laughs> 101, do you know what I mean? What's this, the fitted sheet? Yeah. Oh, just realized Brooklyn is also having a birthday sale. So this, this is goes the perfect, to your corner. this side? I think, okay. I think. I always get the corners wrong. I know. Oh, it says, it says short side. Oh. It's written on here. Good. So there you go. So now you know which side goes where when you're putting on the fitted sheet. And you're going to get 25% off, by the way. I'm going to leave a link below. You no, know, these feel amazing. It's, it's to recognize their birthday through May 3rd, and they're offering 25% off bed and bath essentials. So, and we're going to be talking about the bathroom. It's like the perfect opportunity to stock up and to get yourself some Brooklyn in. Okay, I love this soft color though, actually, for this white room. But by the way, they have over 100,000 five star reviews. So, I mean, they can't all be wrong. That's more than any other bedding company. I love how comfortable they are. They really do remind me of sleeping in like a hotel. Oh, like hotel quality? Yeah, I never want to get out of bed. Yeah, I know. That's how I feel in the morning. And I know the, you're like constantly going, get up, we've I got know. things to do. And the thing is we, you know, we travel that stuff, so we're used to sleeping in hotels. Yes. But it's great to have mm. that hotel quality. And if it, 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 they do feel like that, they're home really, instead. really nice. And soft. Yeah. Speaking of which, I want to crash on it now. No, you're not anyway, going to cry. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and they have like so many like colors and patterns. So, you know, you just pick what's, you know, what you want you know, to suit your bedroom. These sheets are actually great for people who are hot sleepers at night, like me. Yes, um, you are. Yeah, it keeps you cool. You don't, you don't overheat or anything like that. I it's know. It's really nice. If you're getting Brooklyn for the first time, I wouldn't get like them individual. I would, if I was you, I would just get their hardcore bundle set. I specifically ordered their classic hardcore bundle and it's their classic percale sheets which feature a breathable 270 thread count weave for that really timeless hotel style luxury. And that's what keeps me cool all night long. And that'll give you the core sheet set, extra pillowcases and the duvet cover. Oh, like this. It feels like it's it. It's literally a giant marshmallow. Oh. God, that feels so good. I know. Yeah, it feels good. And the thing is, it gets softer with each wash. Yeah, you'll start to see the difference. Every time you wash it, it just gets more and more comfortable. So it's really, really good. What are you doing? No! <laughs> Honestly, from the first night, you... I personally feel so much more rested because I've slept. You know when you've slept in a really comfortable bed? You feel really, really rested. And that's how I feel after I've slept with Brooklyn and Sheets. So it's 100% it's worth it. Like I said, we've been sleeping with Brooklyn and Sheets for, I think it's a good two years now. Yeah, okay. Something like that. So we have like different colors in them now. But you know, it's important. So, you know, you spend a lot, a large part, what is it? One third of your life is spent sleeping. You might as well make it, make it count. That's the way I see it. Anyway, you're very welcome. Okay, so these are the wood floors. Before this was like vinyl. This is the bathroom. <laughs> and this is how it now looks. completely different as you can see to how it used to be um it kind of looks like a wet room yeah because everyone always asks us that too yeah and that was not by design by the way it was no. just that's the way it looks we wanted to look yeah yeah so anyway our glass door i know i love this thing yeah it's really yeah. great and it's a soft close what i like is that we didn't put a glass door partition for example because normally you would have showers that have one but the room is quite small and we quite like the idea we're actually might we might actually end up doing a glass partition but for now we haven't um we have already used the shower and it feels it functions even without having one and i quite like the look of it being completely open and without having a partition there plus the floor has been pitched all of it's pitched towards this this is solid slab floor 
So it's literally one piece of stone. So what they do is they shave down the stone so you don't see it, but it is actually pitched going straight to the drain. Yeah. Which is very, very cool. And another thing, because the floor is heated, when the water does fall onto the floor and comes onto like extra area, like right here, it evaporates because of the heat. And another thing we did was we have the sink. The sink was originally in this location, but this, it's a completely different size. You'll see on screen how it used to look mm -hmm. and how you can see how it is now. So we got this stone sink, uh, the gold four sets we mentioned to you before from Brizzo, so and we went with a round mirror as well. And we went with a round mirror and Michael sourced this one and he picked it because he knows that I like to like, you know, just do like get ready with me, makeup and stuff. And we like the fact that it's lit. So look at this beautiful glow from this. It's gorgeous. And it does like warm, warm glow, cool glow. And it also um, defrosts as well. So once you're in the shower, you can just hit the defrost button and it's not going to fog up the glass. Much more counter space this time. We had none before. Um, Michael had the electrical outlets placed right here conveniently. Yeah, so this is for the radiant floor. This is for the, the exhaust fan, which by the way has Amazon Alexa, which is kind of cool. That right there. Oh, I think she's thinking that I'm going to say something to her. Oh, but right. anyway, she could play music and yes, and so you can have that going on in the bathroom. Yeah, which is cool. um, and we had these three cubby holes slash shelving area for storage of anything we want. Um, and again, we were very particular because these are the large format. These are the same large format tiles we were telling you about. But we made sure to even here just try and match it so that the, each piece here, this part, this part, they all kind of related and matched somewhat to each other. So it looked like it was one continuous pattern. Yeah. That was definitely a challenge. But, yeah. Um, as yeah. you can see, it worked out pretty well. You know, with these fixtures, these are what they call, um, what is it, low volume fixtures or something like that? Basically, they just don't take up as much water as normal fixtures do. So these are like 1.2 gallons per minute instead of 1.5. I didn't know that. Um, so, so it's more water efficient. efficient. Yes. And I love, by the way, yes. I love these Brizzo faucets. <laughs> this is not it's, sponsored by Brizzo. <laughs> it's so smooth. Yeah. Look at the water the way it comes out. It's just like silk. Oh, God, it's so good. Okay, so now he's obsessing about how water comes out. This is interesting. So, in addition to the efficiency, because we Can we turn this through. light off? Because it's just, it's reflecting a lot. Yeah. yeah. So, in addition to the efficiency of the faucets, we also, when we did the central AC, we did one of the vents. If you come around here, you'll actually see it comes in. It's a hidden vent, if you will. So yeah. you don't even notice that it's actually an air vent, but it is an air vent. And right. that brings in the cool air or hot air during the winter or summer months. Ah. Um, yeah, so you have a balance of your air in here. One thing you don't realize with bathrooms is how much, it's literally the amount of detail that goes into a bathroom is what goes into your entire house. Yeah. That's why bathrooms are so expensive to do. There's electrical, there's plumbing, there's, you know, everything that you can possibly think of that you have to do for a house, you have to do in the square footage of yeah. a bathroom. And it's important to think about how do you use a bathroom? Where do you stand? Where do you normally put things down? Where do you plug your hairdryer in normally? Because that's yes. where you want all those electrical outlets to go. Yeah, because all of that has to be planned out in advance. You know, yeah. Even the lighting, wherever you're going to have your drop lights, the power that goes to the vent. Um, you know, we, we're going to be installing a heating rack here for the Oh, house. yeah. So I literally had the electrical outlet and everything ran in advance, knowing that we were going to be potentially putting this here. And if we didn't put it here, at least this power was already there. In the event in the future that we wanted to do it, we still have it. That's true. You, you have to do these things in advance because you can't come back and do it later. Um, and this is a tip for you. We're using painter's tape because our heating rack is not here yet. If we get it in time, I'll add in the footage showing it. But just for the idea of placement, we've used painter's tape in every room that we've renovated to give us an idea of where we want things to be placed. And that happened with the kitchen island. We taped the floor, I remember, mm -hmm. you know, so with painter's tape. And we literally would walk around the tape to figure out, is this the right amount of space? So that's a really good tip to just get painter's tape. You can just put it on anywhere and it can just match the dimensions of what you're planning to buy and just live with it and just think, is that the right size? Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Before you buy. So that, and then you'll see the new one. <laughs> yeah. well, we went with these large format tiles, which you obviously can see. 
and the larger format tiles make it look so much more luxurious. Plus it's easier for the installers when they go to install it than it is to install the smaller um, tiles that you'll see. 30 by 40? This is four feet by 24. Okay. So it's 24 by 48. Right, so it's a really inexpensive way, like Michael's saying, of you know how to make a bathroom look expensive. Um, and also the grout color is important and the grout is basically what is going in between these tiles and try and pick a color that's as close as possible to the tile color because it will just have that effect of being very seamless and disappearing and you won't see the joints overall when you're standing back and that seamless look also helps to make a bathroom feel more expensive than it is. We went with like a sort of a dark, well, sort of a medium gray because the tiles are multicolored, but there's a prominent color, I think, of gray. So that's why we went with the grout color that was also in gray. And obviously here's the skylight that I was telling you about. Ta-da! I'm so glad that we did. Honestly, it's like, I'm just so glad. It's really cloudy today, so it's white. But when it's like blue sky, it's blue. So it looks really nice. It's and cool, yeah, and what's nice is that at nighttime as well, it's moonlight. If it's a moonlit it's a night. It's a glow in the bathroom. Yeah. If it's a moonlit night, you get that glow that comes through. And Michael will stand under it and it looks like, you know, a UFO is beaming down. <laughs> beaming down to take you away. Right? We'll, just stand we'll, under it. We'll do a it. photo like that later. We'll right. We'll do a photo at night where he's just standing like that. And you've got the beam of the moonlight coming down onto Michael. <laughs> I actually quite like that idea. Crazy. To me, I feel like it's the biggest change we've ever done in this house it is that is, room. Is, and I is. cannot tell you how much I love it. It's just great. The tile choice was brave for us because I originally was thinking something almost like this, like a subway kind of tile. And I love that kind of tile, I still do. It was gonna be that tile, that type of tile, or it was gonna be like a Carrera. You know, like you see like, um, almost like this. Right. That with the gray marble, it was gonna be like maybe that instead. So. I couldn't decide between those two. And then we walked into this tile shop and we saw this tile, fell in love with it. I just went, F that's gorgeous. I, I know remember sitting on the other side of the tile shop and I was like, Karen, yeah, you gotta see this. No, I saw it first. Yeah. Don't take the blame. I mean, don't take the blame. Don't take the credit. I thought I saw that you first. You didn't see it first. Are you sure? Yes. All right, she saw it first. I did. See, you're trying to make me look bad. I I'm saw not it first. You look bad. I actually thought I saw it first, but I guess not. See, now you're doubting me. I don't know. I'm not, <laughs> no, sure. I remember being on the other side of the room. And I remember because it was at the very back and it was facing towards the front. And you were going along the side aisles. Yeah, I know. And but I, I remember you remember. going along the side aisles and me seeing it. We, well, maybe you saw it, but I you think didn't we, mention maybe it. Maybe we both saw it at two different times, because I remember looking at it as well. Anyway, it's stunning. Anyway, when the we point is it, we both fell in love great. with it. <laughs> and we just thought, maybe we should, I would love, maybe we should, we can, we should, we should, we should, we should, we? I thought when I actually pointed it out to Karen that she wasn't going to like it. Like, yeah. It's going to be too much. Yeah. And I was like, but look, at you could see sort of like a preview of what it would look like. Yeah, I, I, and just I was like, it. I don't know if she's going to like it. I loved it. It's sort of moment that I saw it. I was like, oh, that's it. Score. So we just thought, f*** it, let's just go with this. Because we just both loved it. We just, it's one of those, it was a very knee-jerk almost reaction. We didn't hesitate. And that was it. So we, 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 we decided to go with it. Though. Yeah, we were. It's not like we just we spontaneously were. It was weeks it. and weeks looking online, going to shops. Going to different tile places and thinking, all right, do we want to do large format? Yeah. Do we want to do small? Like, what do you want the floor to look yeah. like? How do we want to do exactly. this? Exactly. It was and like because, so much. Yeah. And because the tile is not plain white or very bright, bright, like a white tile, I knew that light in that room was very important because it's also right. a small room. So that was another reason why I wanted to have a skylight because uh, I remember showing on Instagram stories, I gave, I gave a preview of that tile and somebody messaged me, one of you guys, and said, isn't it going to be very dark there though in that room because of that tile? <laughs> and when she said that... Look at it now. Honestly, I want to say thank you to whoever that was. She made me realise, or he, I was like, oh my god, that's a good point. And I almost went into like panic mode. I thought, I went into the room and I went, what can we do? What can we do? And I looked and I went, oh, skylight. Wow. Yes. So that was it. And the rest is history. We love brass gold hardware. Uh, we have it in the kitchen. Actually, it's behind Michael. Yeah, that faucet. Brizzo. We love using Brizzo. That's the company that we tend to buy. Not we sponsored. No, Brizzo, hey, look, if you want to, you know, <laughs> hey, we'll come up with something where we can use more Brizzo. Just like, hey, just reach out to us. 
So we used Brizzo again. We loved how that sort of like, not, not shiny yellow gold, but kind of like a, almost like a rose toned gold. Oh, screw it, I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, we just like the gold with the color, it's with beautiful. the tile. And the thing is with the tile is we had to really, we, we literally placed it all on the floor for each of the wall, we had to decide how it's going to go because we wanted the, the patterns, even though they're all, could just put them up, up however you want and they'll all work because it's kind of like lots of wavy, marbly lines. We had to decide on... It was crazy going through on, all on of kind these of figuring different out patterns. The yeah, and it was bizarre, but we, we figured it out. The tiles are large format. I don't know what size they are, the dimension of them. But uh, I loved that they are large format. Four feet by two feet, I believe. Yeah, per tile. So these, like, these are big ass tiles, and I loved that. And it kind of gives the room the look of being marble, and it's not, it's tile. Yeah. So it's a very inexpensive way to make a bathroom look expensive. So that's a really good tip. The floor is stone. We couldn't decide what we were gonna go with for the floor. Originally, it was gonna just be black tile. I was thinking of like hexagon. Arvin, Arvin Olano, I was like even texting him, I showed him, see what he thought of it. Thank you Arvin for your help if you're looking at this, this video. You know what we could do is take the, because we did buy the black tile, yeah. we just never used it. Yeah. We could take some of the sheets up there and lay it down. Oh, just, just lay it down, see, see how it like. looks, yeah, yeah, why not? So, kind of cool. probably that'll, do that. That'll be a bonus at the end, you guys. Yeah, so we decided, but I, I wasn't convinced completely, because I always liked the idea of a bathroom where it, the whole, a whole like from walls down to the floor it all continues with whatever the wall is but we weren't going to put the tile on the wall on the floor just wasn't going to do it so it had to be something that's specific to the floor so we decided to go with stone because i wanted the whatever it to be to be one continuous design across the entire floor so and because it's, it's just one slab and because that the bathroom is relatively small we, you know, it's not you're going with like a, a massive size bathroom, so you need like multiple slabs. We just need one and it needs to be the perfect one. So we just got very, very fortunate where we found a floor yes. that literally looks like the tiles on the wall, in my opinion, and it fits perfectly. It has all the colors that are in the tile on the floor. So when you stand back, it almost looked like the oh, entire right. room is marble. But no, don't kid yourself. Not. It's it not. took a while to find that slab. Yeah, it, that it did. That slab was not easy to it find. Was, it was difficult, mm -hmm. it was not easy. I was getting advice as well from like Paula in London. Yeah, I was WhatsApping her. Like, Be what patient. Do you think of this? It delayed us by a good six weeks. Yeah. Um, but be patient because it's such a significant piece yeah. to the whole design that you can't rush that. You yeah. literally have to take your time and make sure that that is the exact one you want. Exactly. So, and it, we both loved it and it, wor it worked perfectly. In fact, what we did as a tip is before the wall tiles went up, we took one of those tiles with us yeah. to the place that had that floor that we ended up going with. And what we did was we literally held that tile to the floor and just looked at it to see, oh yeah, it does work. So that's another tip with, for you. If you're looking to do something similar or if you're looking to decide, will this tile go with the floor? or vice versa, bring what you have already that you've bought yes. to the shop so you can literally complement and see do they work or not. So that's what we did. We got it in, Michael's great idea, which is another thing, even though the floor is stone, he had it heated. We added radiant floors. So it's got radiant, so it's got heating yes. underneath the stone. So even though it's a stone floor, when you're barefoot, you step on it, it feels warm. So it's fantastic. It so nice it's out. just such a great idea, and I'm just I'm in love with it. I it's, think it's it came out in the shower so as well. Good. By the way, I forgot to say. Oh my god, I should have told you lot. We are get, we're going to have a cabinet here underneath the sink. It's going to be like about that long, um, and it's going to be in wood, and that will add like some warmth to this bathroom. And hopefully, you got some tips and some ideas. So good. I just can't get over this bathroom. You can easily, if you want. Add lines, have this frosted, tint the glass. It's up to you. So you do you. Feel special, and that's how I feel about my wardrobe as well. And your home should be an extension of that. It's just really expressing your personal style, but just done through decor. Oh, do not forget, before I forget, the Brooklyn Inn birthday sale through May 3rd. You get 25% off their bedding and bath essentials, which is obviously really 
appropriate because I'm talking about the bathroom now. But yeah, that is it. Still to this day, the most comfortable sheets we've slept on. Hands down. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, the usual, as you really know. I am late, I've got to go out. So that is it. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Let me know which bit you like. It's amazing! We have a spa in our home. Pat yourself in the back for that. And you, Michael, pat yourself in the back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye.